that breaking news out of North Korea, firing a ballistic missile into the sea. This just hours after announcing upcoming nuclear talks with the U.S. this weekend. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, tracking all the latest in Washington this morning. And Martha, the timing here is obviously significant. It is, Robin. North Korea is sending a strong message to the U.S. this morning, just as those working level nuclear talks are scheduled to resume the first time since that Hanoi summit last February. A U.S. official says this ballistic missile was launched from the sea east of North Korea's capital. It traveled nearly 300 miles and reached an altitude of 565 miles before landing in the Sea of Japan. This would make it the highest altitude launch since 2017. A U.S. official says this was a test of a submarine missile, although the official said it was not launched from a submarine, but likely from a platform at sea. Kim Jong-un's submarine launched missile program poses a significant threat because they're more difficult to detect. This is the 11th launch of a missile or rocket this year. President Trump continually downplays these short-range missile launches just last week, saying that a lot of countries test short-range missiles. There's nothing spectacular about them, and it was wasn't part of his agreement with Kim Jong-un, but the State Department had a different message this morning calling on North Korea to refrain from provocations and abide by UN Security Council resolution. Prophetic word, October 2nd, 2019 at 8.15 a.m. Tragedy on the high seas. That's actually North Korea will mark the chain of events that will take center stage. Once this happens, it will cause a rapture to occur. My son, when these events take place, I will allow the new world order to be ushered in. This is the Son of God, Yeshua HaMashiach.